Is your Flutter application lagging or running too slow in low or medium spec devices? Or maybe it is just taking too much of memory. In this video, we are going to be covering some of the things that you should avoid while building your application to have an increased performance. Usage of Opacity Widgets Opacity widgets triggers the same layer. So you should avoid using opacity widgets. Instead of this, you could use hexadecimal color codes to give the same effect. Animating an opacity widget makes it even worse because it causes the widget to rebuild each frame. For animating purposes, you could use animated opacity or fade transition widgets instead. Color filter is another such widget which reduces the app performance. You should try to limit its usage and use it only when utmost necessary. Multiple color filter widgets in your app can make it very slow. Another similar widget is your shader mask widget. It reduces the performance as well as it also triggers the same layer. Its usage should be reduced to minimal as well. Do not mark all your classes as stateful widgets. Stateful widgets should only be used when you need to toggle a state. You could also use various state management techniques such as provider and mobx to reduce the usage of stateful widgets. The more the number of stateful widgets means more memory and less performance. Use of less packages. We all love using packages in Flutter especially the beginners. It gets the job done. However, it also comes with a lot of files and assets that increase your memory. Therefore, packages should be used for things which are very necessary such as animations or shared preferences, things which you can't make yourself. On the other hand, for just making a good looking button or a good looking app bar, packages should be avoided for that. At last, you should try removing unnecessary widgets in your application. For example, if there is a column wrapped inside a column which only have one child, then you should remove that column. Like this, you can remove unnecessary code and unnecessary packages as well. Try to refactor your code as much as you can. So these were some of the tips that you should use to increase your app performance. If you like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel.